I want to start here look, by conveying my own uh, personal uh, deepest sympathy to all of those families who have lost loved ones uh, due to COVID-19 and in indeed to all of those families who have lost a loved one for whatever reason and due to whatever cause in the last number of weeks. It's been an incredibly uh, tough time for everyone. I think it's fair to say that the Stability Programme update published this week um, we have never seen an SPU or any econo economic document prepared against the backdrop of such extraordinary uncertainty. Uh, and the truth is that the future of our economy, our public finances, and indeed the global economy, is inextricably linked to the future of this virus. Uh, if the virus lingers, the economic impact uh, will linger too, uh, and recovery will be delayed. Uh, while the forecast made, made for pretty grim reading, the document itself acknowledges that the reality could potentially be worse, though of course we hope it is not. And add to all of the uncertainty surrounding the virus, we have of course the outstanding questions relating to Brexit, uh, which remain uh, deeply unresolved. The truth is that the ability of other countries to manage this virus will also have a direct economic impact on Ireland, even if we get to the point where we have contained its spread uh, because of the nature of our uh, open and trading economy. So, in the midst of such uh, uncertainty, it is understandable that the Stability Programme update provides only a two-year as opposed to a five-year forecast horizon. Uh, we are truly in a period uh, of uncharted uh, economic territory. I think it's important to say here look, that the overwhelming weight of economic opinion and indeed international economic advice has been that governments must at this time provide the necessary fiscal supports for their economy and in particular provide income supports for workers, income supports for businesses and provide the working capital that those firms need to stay alive. Uh, and this government has made significant efforts supported by this House in that regard. And during this phase of the crisis, sustaining these supports is absolutely vital. There are operational issues around different elements of those schemes. We have spoken about those before. Uh, for example, Minister, the wage subsidy scheme. A lot of firms now are falling foul of not having had their February payroll, payroll return in by the 15th of March, in some cases for very good reason. The revenue are saying that their hands are tied by the legislation, uh, and I know that raises more fundamental issues about this House and the government, but it is a real issue affecting many firms. There are other issues too that need urgent attention. The issue of insurance. The scale of working capital support for SMEs is not yet at the level that it needs to be. And to date, we have had no intervention in relation to guarantees or credit lines for larger firms above a turnover of €50 million. Euro. They too will need access to those. The issue of commercial rents is causing very significant problems. The nature of forbearance offered by the banks uh, is a significant issue, and we will soon need further announcements from revenue in relation to the deferral of certain payment obligations uh, by taxpayers uh, and companies. Uh, over time, we will need to move quickly to the preparation of a national economic recovery plan, which will need to be sector by sector, uh, with specific initiatives, initiatives for areas such as tourism, retail, hospitality, construction, to name but a few. Uh, like the Minister, I am confident uh, that our economy will recover. Uh, yes, over time we will need to reduce what will be a very substantial deficit and we will need to be able to demonstrate a pathway to debt sustainability. Ultimately, that will be vital for Ireland. We do not want to have constant debates in this House again about bond yields and how much cash the NTMA is holding. Uh, but those decisions uh, are for another day. We need to sustain the supports that have been made available, improve them where necessary and work on the recovery of our economy, help businesses to refloat, get back up and running and support workers in getting back to employment. Thank you.